It's Tuesday. I think, right? Yeah? Yeah, is it? Uh, what is it? It is Tuesday, the 30th of March. May. May. Oh my god, I don't even know what day it is. Uh, a whole bunch of games dropped information over the weekend and probably days before that uh, that are pending uh, to be part of the Steam Next Fest coming up in June. So, in traditional fashion of what I've been doing the last week is I'm just going to continue playing the demos and I start today with Catch and Cook Fishing Adventure. It is a fishing adventure game in which you are not only a fisherman, you're also a boat. Uh, no, but you are a restaurant owner and you will explore the ocean, which is the water that I am on, catch some fish, and then cook them in your restaurant. So it's almost like a 3D Dave the Diver or a friendlier version of Dredge uh, is what I, what I think of it. I go fishing. Aim with right mouse button. Cast with the left. All right, this, this is not like a good camera angle. Wait for a nibble, and then catch with the mouse. And then what do we do? Do I... Oh, space. I think I caught it. Did I catch it? I'm doing a great job. I'm proud of myself. Catch three more fish. I don't see any other fish here. One fish. This seems to be kind of some kind of generic fish, not any uh, specific type of fish. I missed. This does look so much like the same kind of village area that Dredge has, just far more colorful. Seems nicer. I don't think uh, I'm going to have any kind of monsters or anything jump out of the water and try to eat my boat. So that's pretty cool. It's very safe now. Let's go trade some fish. We need to go to the nearest shop, which is marked on the map, which I'm assuming is this up in the top right corner because it's got a circle on it. Hello, other fishermen. There are no waves. Extremely calm water. Which is good, because I enjoy the chill atmosphere. Welcome to our island, fishermen. Are you ready to cast your line? I've already been doing that. Now, woman's a giant. Almost the size of the boat. Oh, this guy says there's waves. But I don't I don't see any. Um I bought some rope. Head to the restaurant. Okay, I just what happens if I go on the the, the ground? Can I become a land boat? No. Alright. Alright, let's find the restaurant. Restaurant is in the middle of town or of the bay, the, the water. Whatever you want to call it. This reminds me of that movie, What Dreams May Come, with Robin Williams. Not for any real reason. I have no idea why, but, but it does. So, it's a good movie. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. You're a decent dude. Alright, first move the fish to the restaurant inventory. Won't spoil there. There we go. Drag perch and noodles. Uh, plus unagi. To the pan to create my first dish. Alright. Cook. 
Perchinagi stir fry. New recipe unlocked. Click to continue. Uh, the more dishes you open, the more they will cost. Okay, so I figure um, I'll just do one at a time. Okay, so how do I run the restaurant? What do I do? Uh... Put everything. Oh, that's stuck in the kitchen now. I don't have any Yunagi, so. To. Okay, it looks like I have to go up here to this island in the top left. It's very unclear. On that, but whatever. With chest. Let's go get the chest. Aw, oh, what? I saw a chest. I absolutely saw a chest. Alright, I guess I have to be in actual fishing locations. Which. Straight up this way. Looks like there's clownfish. Maybe. Oh no, did it did I just break it? Oh no, I clicked on the outside of my screen. So it looks like at some point I will be able to go crabbing. Use a net. And a spear gun, so looks like whale is on the menu. Maybe, I don't know. The fish will soon go bad. Well, man. Okay, in order to buy some chilies, I need a type of fish that I do not have. I need to get to the restaurant and drop off my fish so I don't lose my hard work. I wonder if I can upgrade the boat eventually. Because that would be cool. Alright, let's put all my new fish in there and let's... Let's sleep. I earned sixteen dollars. Cool. Alright, so for the... Peppers, or whatever they were... Uh, looks like I need whatever this fish is on the left. So I don't know that I like that I'm, it looks like I'm going to have to go to different islands to buy different uh, cooking ingredients. Because it seems like some unnecessary legwork. Uh, it kind of defeats the point of just having a store. I'd much rather just go to one location. But, doesn't look like that is the case, so I'll just catch some more fish. Oh, you got away this time, flounder, but... Not that time. I don't know if there's an inventory limit on how many fish you can catch. I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't tried. I haven't caught enough fish. A fishing minigame is... Fine. It's, I mean, it's... Nothing can replace the glory of... 
catching a fish for real. Uh, like catching a fish for real. It's just never going to be the same uh, without haptic feedback and, you know, everything else. I bought a bunch of peppers. Uh, so now I'm out of these fish. I think I only caught three, so i got to go back, catch a couple more. But at least I picked up two of whatever those are. Oh, there's a chest. It's chest. It's right there. Everybody can see it. It definitely exists. I'm not seeing things. I found a recipe scrap. Alright, that's cool. Now, catch three more of these guys. Before it turns to night. Cook them. Actually, I don't know if I have actually even a recipe for it. So this may be kind of a waste of my time. Oh yeah, because it's like three parts at least. Uh, three ingredients to make a meal. And uh, I don't think I have them. And I, I don't actually have enough recipes to make something new. Stash event started. What, what does that mean? What does that mean? Is it a good news? Is it bad news? Am I going to get something? Go faster, boat. Got to turn in the fish before they turn to crap. Uh, no. I guess I can't fish on land. I suppose that makes sense. We'll put everything in there. I wonder if I can just make my own recipe. Yeah, I learned to make spicy koi noodles. Cool. What if I just cook three fish at once? Alright, nothing cooked. That was a terrible idea, but what if I cook it like this? Two fish and a pepper. Nothing. Cool. I've earned $20. It's kind of amazing, like, how much value there is in $20. Okay, I don't understand. It tells me that I need to go to the top left for the peppers, but I don't really see the point. I guess I'll go get more noodles. I will give this about seven more minutes of just fishing times because it's chill. Uh, keep clicking into the other screen because... This is a uh, full screen borderless. I mean, this is enough of an impression for me to know that uh, given that I enjoy fishing games and just having the ability to just chill and relax. This would probably be a title that I wish list because it is entertaining. It's enjoyable. Something when you just you want to unwind at the end of the day, you know, you know, feel like shooting things. You just want to, just want to relax, and relaxation is good. So there we go, another fish. I've caught another one. Come on, take the take the bait. I want to get enough to buy enough noodles. And still have fish. Which I should be able to buy at least six of the noodles. You know, with three fish. I guess I can catch some more fish. Oh, I guess I am finding more fish instead of going to the noodle guy.
I do wish there was a little bit more difficulty in catching the fish. I'm pretty sure I should have caught that fish. That seems like I got screwed. But it's, uh... Because there's not much to it. It's just click a button, push space at the right time. Uh, you catch the fish instantly. There's no difficulty attached to it. So, hopefully that would be something that changes. If not, it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. Still caught a fish. Well, that boat was trying to be friendly, but he's going so fast that I didn't really have time to pay attention to fish and read what he wrote, so. Gonna guess that he says that I'm awesome and he hopes I have a wonderful Tuesday. So that's nice of him. Thanks, random fishing boat. Now, what happens if I run into a fishing boat? Will they be thrilled that we've been so close together, or will they be upset with me? I don't know. Do they know I'm coming right at them? Don't forget to stack up on bait before you head out to sea. I don't know how to stack up on bait. And so far, bait doesn't seem necessary. But this is going to be the spot where I call it good for the day. This is good. This is an enjoyable demo. It's something that you can play. Um, there's no time restriction. It just gives you a good op opportunity to play and enjoy and relax and chill. So if you like fishing games, I'm going to say you should probably consider Catch and Cook because well, it's, it's pretty okay. <laughs>